Hello, I am Surgeon General, and in this video, I will be showcasing a new spell trigger tech that I have found in Settlers League, taking advantage of an interaction between a rune crafting enchantment and the skill Static Strike. The tech works with any triggerable spell with the fire tag. I have tested all of these and will demonstrate the options that I think work best later in this video. The footage currently playing is a tier 16 strand with all increased effect of map modifier passives, showing that with proper investment, these setups can be scaled to be endgame viable. The character that I'm using for these demos is a chieftain specializing in war cries, but the spell tech in this video does not depend on any specific ascendancy. Some of the other options that I think would be particularly effective would be Elementalist on a low budget or a mana stacking Hierophant for Archmage on higher budgets. The engine for this trigger tech is the new rune crafting enchantment exclusively for one-handed axes, which reads, trigger a socketed fire spell on hit with a 0.25 second cooldown. The enchant costs four power runes and a number of sun and war runes, so while it is not cheap, it is also not prohibitively expensive like some of the more exclusive enchantments that cost over a dozen power runes. Note that this trigger on hit is local to the weapon, and therefore, the only hits that will trigger socketed spells are from attack damage. You cannot, for example, cast a spell and have it trigger another spell. The majority of use of this enchantment in the player community so far has been with Cyclone. However, Cyclone requires constant channeling in order to continue triggering spells, and significantly reduces character speed. If you want to zoom and use support skills like self-cast curses or war cries, you would have to stop channeling to do so, reducing your damage uptime. Instead, in this video I will be showcasing Static Strike as the delivery skill, which I think has significantly better potential and quality of life. Static Strike is an attack skill which upon weapon hit grants the static energy buff to the player. While the player has the static energy buff, beams of energy will automatically strike nearby enemies at fixed intervals. The damage of the beams is classified as attack damage, which means that it will trigger the on-hit effects of our weapon, which in this case is triggering a fire spell. All we need to do is hit one enemy with an attack, and our character will automatically trigger fire spells for the entire duration of the static energy buff. The base duration of static energy is only 3 seconds, but by taking increased skill effect duration on the passive tree and gear, it is straightforward to scale this to over 10 seconds, enabling a semi-auto bomber playstyle. Another property of Static Strike that makes it perfect for this trigger tech is that the hit frequency of the beams from a level 20 gem with 23 quality is 0.26 seconds, which is just a fraction longer than the trigger cooldown from the enchantment. This ensures that our trigger rate is almost perfectly maximized without any need to invest in cooldown recovery or attack speed. There is also no risk of attacking over our trigger rate due to a temporary buff like Onslaught, which can be a problem with other triggering skills. Before I demonstrate how different spell skills work with this tech, there are a few considerations to keep in mind when planning a build with it. First, we will be triggering one, maybe more skills with six or more linked supports four times per second. This will result in very high mana costs. You will need to plan to invest in mana cost reduction and mana regeneration rate. Second, since you are already planning to scale skill effect duration, support skills that grant buffs could be very powerful. For example, it is straightforward to have 100% uptime on multiple war cries, or you could get very high uptime on a powerful buff like Arcane Cloak for very little additional investment. Third, since the melee strike range for one-handed axes is quite small, playing the skill can feel pretty bad without a source of strike skills target one additional enemy. The Ancestral Call effect solves this problem almost entirely with its auto-targeting, so I would highly recommend building in at least one additional strike. Finally, Static Strike's beam range is relatively short at baseline. It's not entirely necessary, but the build feels much more comfy to play if you invest in some area of effect. You will then trigger off of packs from further away, which just feels better to play. 
In this section, I will demonstrate the options for what spells can be triggered by this tech and how well they perform relative to each other. The enchantment can only trigger fire spells, which can be triggered. This excludes brands, totems, traps, mines, channeling skills, and some other spells that explicitly state they cannot be triggered. My character is set up to scale hit-based damage, so I will not be showing any skills that are damage over time based. Static Strike cannot target corpses, which excludes some skills from working at all. Additionally, I have excluded some skills because they don't work well with the vectors that I'm scaling in my build. For example, Volatile Dead works poorly when skill effect duration is increased, and I can't work in corpse generation for Detonate Dead, so these skills are excluded from testing. All the skills I've tested are shown here, and I've highlighted the ones that stood out as potentially powerful. I will now show demonstrations of these highlighted skills. Feel free to use the chapter bookmarks to skip between skills. All tests are done in tier 16 rare maps with the same atlas tree. I will not be showing the whole map, just enough to get the point across. In some cases, I change support links as needed to take advantage of the inherent properties of the skills. These considerations will be discussed during the short showcase of the individual skill. The first skill I tested was Firestorm of Pelting. This skill has very good synergies with skill effect duration because it makes it easier to stack up more Firestorms for single target damage. The quality on this gem increases the maximum number of storms that can be active at a single time, so I am linking it with Enhance. I think this skill has promise, but it lacks clear speed. The issue is that the Firestorms are procced at the location the enemy is hit, and then it takes some time for the meteors to come down. This means that most of your damage during maps is happening behind you, which just feels awkward to play. That being said, this was one of the best performers in terms of single target damage. While it takes some time for your number of storms to ramp up to maximum, once they do, you can put out some serious damage to enemies standing within the radius of the storms. Tornado of Elemental Turbulence is an interesting option. It has all three elemental tags, allowing it to be triggered by the axe enchantment, but also enabling non-fire damage when their tornado procs a different element type. I am linking with Enhance, which significantly increases the speed of the tornadoes. This skill performed very well in clear speed. The tornadoes have very good auto-targeting, and they were mostly fast enough to keep up with my character or clear packs slightly ahead of him. They also did a good job of mopping up stragglers that I would otherwise just run past. The downside, though, is the single target damage. There's no way to get more than three tornadoes, and even though they targeted well, the DPS output was just lacking compared to some other skills. Rolling Magma was tested in several different gem setups. The one I'm showing here is with both greater multiple projectiles and enhance, which provides more bounces. This setup did very well with clearing the map. With this many projectiles, a bunch of chaining to create more bounces, and some AoE scaling to increase the size of the impact zone, I think this skill setup could be very useful for clearing open maps quickly. Again, the downside is single target damage. Since the projectiles can't shotgun, they really struggle with the map bosses, or even just tanky rares. I attempted to solve this with returning projectiles, but it didn't have as much of an effect as I had hoped. I gave Cremation of the Volcano an honest attempt. This is the only version of Cremation that would work since it doesn't require corpse targeting, but it still underperformed. I felt like there was too much of a delay between proccing the volcano and the damage actually being done for the skill to be useful. Also, there are only a maximum of 6 volcanoes active at once. Since this setup can trigger almost 4 times a second, we're not getting the maximum effectiveness out of our trigger rate. We end up just overwriting the old volcanoes. Blazing Salvo with returning projectiles worked quite well, although my PC struggled with performance more than with other skills. The clear speed was quite good on this skill because of its large number of inherent projectiles, decent base AoE, and fast projectile speed. Returning projectiles helped mop up any surviving mobs that weren't killed by the first volley of the projectiles. The single target damage was better than I expected, but not comparable to some of the other skill options. 
I wanted to test body swap exclusively for the memes, but it performed better than I thought it would. The setup is basically impossible to steer. It's like flicker strike, but you can't stop flicking even if you want to. You will constantly blink to the next mob in range until the duration of static energy runs out. While I wouldn't recommend the setup at all, I'm sure someone could put together the funniest semi-AFK simulacrum build known to man. If you're interested, you'd probably want to stack life for this skill. The flat damage scaling for maximum life is pretty good. While I was initially disappointed that there didn't seem to be any good all-around skills to use, I realized that you could just combine two skills together. Triggering one skill does not put the other skill on cooldown, and since Static Strike hits multiple targets per beam strike, you can trigger two skills at the same time as long as there are two targets to hit. The best combination that I found was Firestorm of Pelting with Tornado of Elemental Turbulence. The Tornadoes have excellent clear and will often track ahead of the player, overcoming the downside of Firestorm. On the other hand, where Tornado suffered from single target damage, this setup can stack up 12 Firestorms quite easily to help take down bosses. I will be continuing to experiment as this character evolves, but this is likely the setup that I will continue with going forward. In closing, this cast when staticky tech is a quite flexible trigger setup that could be applied to many different archetypes. The only real entry requirement for the build is a well-crafted trigger axe, but you'll also likely want to use the squire for some additional gem links. There are many options to scale your damage and defenses around this setup. I have chosen a chieftain stacking crit and max rage via war cries, and then converting that rage to more spell damage with the unique helmet Ravenous Passion. I will post my current character's POB in the video notes below, but it is very much a work in progress. Consider it as more of a template to build off of. I hope that this video has given you some ideas of tech that you can work into your own builds. If you enjoyed the video or are interested in more content of this type or in-depth build guides with an emphasis on mechanics, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your support.